So a few people have asked me, will a 40 sprocket work on the Mega Moto 212 with the Go Power Sports swing arm kit? I'm not sure because the 42 sprocket is quite a bit smaller and it could cause the chain to rub on the pivot point on the swing arm. So instead of trying a 42 sprocket, I think I'm gonna try a happy medium and go with a MB246 tooth sprocket. So it's right in between the stock 53 sprocket that comes with the Mega Moto 212 and the 40 sprocket. Then I'll take the bike out for a zero to 30 in top speed and we'll see what a 46 does. I think last time around with the 53 sprocket, the bike did around 320, zero to 30 and around 53 or 54 miles an hour. And then while I'm at it, while I have the wheels off, I'm gonna swap out the stock tires for the Sun F dirt tires. So the Megamoto 212 sprocket has this three hole design for the hub. So I'm gonna have to drill out the MB200 sprocket because it has that four hole design. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to drill that three bolt pattern out on this uh, MB200 sprocket. So I got the three holes drilled out on the MB200 sprocket. And one thing I noticed, the stock sprocket on the hub here is not really hub centric. I mean, it's a little loose, so you can get the sprocket off maybe just a little bit. The MB200 sprocket, it is perfectly hub-centric on here. It's nice and tight on the hub. It doesn't wobble on the hub. So that'll be a nice, true sprocket on there, even more than the stock one. So that way you don't get that chain tightening and loosening as the wheel turns. It's nice and centered. I'm bolt this on here. Shorten up this chain on here. I'll throw a new chain on here while I'm at it. So I'll cut it about right there. That gives me plenty of adjustment. So we've got the chain on there. So I need to leave this thing loose enough. So when it goes through the suspension travel and gets tighter as it goes up, it doesn't get too tight. All right, so I got everything on there lined up and it looks like the chain will barely rub up here. And that's at the bottom of the suspension travel. So as it comes up, it'll pivot the chain up away from the swing arm. So it should be okay. If it does start wearing a groove in here, I can always add a uh, a slider, like off a dirt bike, onto the swing arm. So it seems like it might be okay with a 46 on here. I mean, you still might even be able to get away with a 40. So anyway, I'll take this out and we'll see what it does with a 46. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if the chain rubs that swing arm. Engine cutting out a little bit. Maybe the carpet's a little dirty on this. Let me knock out a zero to 30 real quick. Anyway, just to see if it's a lot slower with the 46 versus the 53. Zero to 30, 46 tooth sprocket. Yeah, it seems like it's cutting out a little bit. I'm gonna have to clean up that carb. A 3.78, dang, it's almost just as quick with the uh, 46 versus the 53. Let me see if I can get a better run. Hopefully it'll clean itself out here, we'll see. Yeah, that carb's definitely dirty. 
But let me try it again anyway. We'll still be able to test if the chain's rubbing on the swing arm. 0 to 30, 46 tooth sprocket. That one was a little bit cleaner. But I still kind of rolled into it. A 3.66. So let me do a top speed on this. Yeah, you'd think it'd pick up a few miles an hour with the uh, 46 versus the 53. <laughs> Seems like it runs pretty good though, the 46. Alright, let's see what it does for top speed. good with a 46 on it so the bike picked up around five miles per hour with a 46 sprocket versus a 53 and it was almost as quick from 0 to 30 I mean the carb was cutting out a little bit or the engine was cutting out a little bit so the 46 seems like a really good sprocket for this bike definitely a good compromise between top speed and quickness and there was no issue with the chain rubbing against the swing arm and if you look under here it might be rubbing it just a little bit but I mean when you're riding it's not rubbing I really don't think it's an issue. I could put a slide on here underneath the chain there. So it works out pretty good with the 46 with the swing arm. So next time around, I might try a 40 and see what happens.